Hey guys, the Kid Bid here, and today I have a review of the 57mm GANS 3. So you can find the 57mm GANS 3 on the US for $15. So the box that mine came in looks a little bit like this. It's definitely not what we're used to with GANS puzzles. What we're used to is more like this. The white bar, I'm not even sure what color that is, maybe an orangish brown. And then a cool QR code. So throughout this review, I'll be comparing this with the V2 and a little bit of the V1 because the V2 is simply the V1 just a little bit faster and a little bit smoother so I think I'm actually just gonna take the V1 out and just be comparing these two throughout the review. The first one I mentioned that the turning is extremely smooth. I have not touched the tensions. I have not put any drop of lube in here after unboxing it. This puzzle is it's so smooth. It's like a Shangsha Aurora sort of but a lot how do I explain it? It's a lot faster, a lot more controllable. It sounds more like the speed cubes that have been on the market lately. It doesn't have that crunchy feeling that the V2 has though. This feels a little bit loose. Feels like it might pop and it does experience some corner catching. or some uh, corner twists because the corners catch on the center pieces. But this still is very fast and controllable. However, this can lock up. So the corner cutting is greatly improved on the 57mm GANS 3. Reverse corner cutting is about line to line, about a whole QB, and which is the best reverse corner cutting I've seen on a speed cube lately. And corner cutting is a little bit over 45, which is a little bit better than most speed cubes on the market right now. So I think it's safe to say that this rarely locks up after doing about like 300 to 500 solves on this throughout the week. It's on and off, timed. Uh, I've made it my new main speed cube, my new main 3x3, three three, and it's only locked up about once or twice, and it has not popped at all. The tensions are really great. The tensions are about there. So I can't guarantee no lockups, but I can guarantee that it's only on the rarest of occasions that it actually does lock up, and it has not popped for me, but there's no ever, you can never guarantee no pops. So you're bound to get one after doing maybe like 3,000 solves on this. But I'm sure that's just from rough turning like that. Nobody turns like that. Or at least I don't know anybody that turns like that. I have a little bit of a different turning style. But for me, this has not popped and only locked up on the rarest of occasions. So now I'd like to take a look at the pieces and compare them to that of the V2. Here are the corners. On the right, we have the V1, or the, the 57 millimeter. And you can see that they've added these ridges which make it a lot smoother as they glide along the edges and here is the edge and you notice that the edge also has these ridges right here which will glide along so they glide along the edge, the side of the edge right here where my nail is touching and then they also glide along the center the edge actually does that and this makes it a lot smoother it doesn't give it that feeling that this puzzle does so I'll do the sound on that it doesn't give you that crunchy sound and that's very helpful a lot of people did not like that and this gives it a lot smoother of a sound and smoother of a feel and what they've done to the centerpiece is they've actually uh, rounded it off as you can see on the V2 there's no ridges it's kind of hollow here it's not hollow they filled in these right here and the edge no ridges and they've uh, extended these right here, these this torpedo or stock, whatever it's called. I'm kind of blanking on the name right now, but they've extended that. And here you can see the differences. I think they made the torpedo a little bit longer. So this puzzle does include the octopus core, which requires no screws. So it's a lot lighter than most speed cubes. To tension this puzzle, what you do is you take the tool given to you right here. You put it on top of the uh, nut or the bolt, whatever the correct term is. And then make sure it's fit on snugly. And then righty tidy, lefty loosey. So you turn it. I'm not going to mess with my tensions because the stock tensions are absolutely perfect for me. So now onto the sticker quality. I've not experienced any chipping or any peeling, and these stickers make this cube look pretty good from far away. It has that like like a square, but like a indented square. Kind of looks like an X, I guess. If you guys can see it. I really like the stickers, the square stickers, the rounded ones, and then the circle one. And it really shows off the how they rounded off the center compared to that, just a square to circle. And one thing I like is that on this you actually see the square turning. Here, it's as if it's not really turning if the logo wasn't there. So it looks like the center is not even moving. I think that's pretty cool. 
and the corners actually go over the center which help with corner cutting a lot as you can see it's over it that is because it's kind of indented right there so that allows the corner to go over the centerpiece which improves the corner cutting immensely so my overall thoughts of this puzzle is that GANS has definitely improved from the V2 it's very smooth, controllable, doesn't have that crunchy sound that most people did not like on the GANS. It doesn't feel uh, unstable, it doesn't feel cheap. This kind of has a Huan Ying type of feel, the plastic. And the ridges on the corners right here definitely help the sound sound not crunchy at all. It improves the turning, makes it super smooth. They've improved on the centers and just they made this puzzle absolutely fantastic. So as you guys can probably tell, I would highly recommend getting the 57mm GANS 3 from the cubicle.us for $15. So I hope you all enjoyed this review of the 57mm GANS 3. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the letter war winners. This video's letters are G-A-N-S. Read the description if you're confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.